Hey guys, Blake from OGXbox.com. <clears throat> um, today I wanted to do a comparison between uh, <clears throat> the cheapo IDE to SATA converter that uh, most people recommend in the forums and, and on the website. Um, this thing's like, what, five, six dollars shipped from either Amazon or eBay. You can find prices pretty close to that at either place. Uh, and then the one that I recommend, uh, it's the StarTech. You can find it at StarTech.com. It's also available on Amazon and eBay. eBay is where I found the best price. Uh, it's it's like three times more expensive, maybe slightly more than this one. Uh, the difference is <clears throat> that on this one, a lot of times you'll get one or two bad in a batch. There, it's just they don't have very good quality control on it, and. Uh, everybody complains about the loading times. The only people that don't complain about the loading times are people that have never tried an actual, uh, you know, quality SATA adapter. So today we're going to compare the load times of the two. We're going to be using my uh, Crucial M4 uh, SSD to do the test. I use it in my portable Xbox. I don't even think the the casing is metallic, but I put some uh, duct tape on the bottom anyway, just in case. Better safe than sorry because it sits right uh, near the, the portable power supply that I use in that thing. So that's why that's there. It does not impact performance, and you're going to see a direct comparison between the two. So let's go ahead and hook up uh, the cheapo adapter first. So we'll go ahead and connect it. Now, I'm being an idiot, and the uh, Xbox is plugged into power presently. Um, that's just a risk I'm willing to take for the sake of time on this video all right so we are connected up we'll just set it there it doesn't matter how it's in there all right so i don't want to block your view those kind of my my thing so i don't know the best way to do that i'm not going to be real gentle with it so i don't care all right so we're hitting power now you should be able to watch the video time to see how long this actually takes. Now remember, this is this is an SSD. So <clears throat> what that means is the throughput will be exactly the same because we're limited by the IDE interface. Um, but remember, the only variable in this equation is the SATA adapter also. But um, you're not going to get increased throughput per se, unless the SATA adapter is the, the limiting factor. But you will get, um, you know, when you talk about SSD versus hard drive, you will get um, a difference in smaller files. The seek time, you'll have higher latency on a hard drive versus a uh, an SSD. All right, so let's just load Halo 2. Now, since these are big files, sequential files, it should be relatively fast, okay? I think the true test will probably be games inside of coin ops, because those seem to take forever. Because what it is, it's a zip file that it, then it, it extracts to, um, you know, one of your temp directories. Let's start a new campaign. The stink about this is, is if I start a new campaign, it's going to be cached because we're using the same hard drive. So I'll have to create a new campaign on each one. Alright, so here's our load time, so watch the, uh, the time counter. See the flickering red there? That's actually on the back of the SATA adapter. Um, and that is whenever it's, you know, data is being accessed across it. The other adapter does not have anything like that. Probably because it allows data to transfer so fast, a, a blinking LED would do no good. LOL. Okay. I think once it's done with this video, then it also um, has another loading screen, but you know what, let's, let's scrap that. 
we may come back and do that exact same thing just to see how long that loading screen is but I don't want to watch that video okay let's load coin ops and I don't expect coin ops itself to take very long because it's just a GUI okay so let's just pick any game let's do double dragon 3 Alright, so I've, I've hit that. You can tell because of the sound, quit playing. It's trying to give you a metric so you can uh, compare the load times. Will it ever load? There we go. We'll wait until we get the attract screen. Okay. There we go. So you can mark that. All right. And let's just turn this bad boy off. And sorry, I was getting a Facebook message. <laughs> We're discussing. Uh, N64 Freak and myself are discussing a uh, a new hardware, a new piece of hardware that will make uh, soft modding a little bit easier. Not really going to go into details about that, but it may not happen, but <clears throat> as of right now, it looks like it's a go. I came up with the idea, um, and he thinks he might be able to make it a reality, so... That would be a big plus. If, if that were to happen, um, I would talk to him about possibly um, just buying a lot of them from him, having them here in the U.S., and then I could ship them out to the United States and Canada myself. Because he's in Germany, so it uh, shipping is usually at least a week or two weeks. I've ordered uh, a couple of things from him. It's usually about how long it is. Okay, so now we've got the StarTech in place. <clears throat> so let's just go ahead and compare. Um, yeah, I've got everything hooked up correctly, I think. I hope so. Let me know if you see smoke. <laughs> see already you've got the Executor 2 logo, which happens as soon as it sees the dashboard's XBE. So you can tell there's just a huge difference in performance there. Okay, so um, I'd like to clear the cache though because let's see, I don't know what that is, and I don't care. So let's delete that. I think all that is. I think Y drive is what um, Unleash X uses. Do select all and and that I don't know what the hell that is, but I like it anyway. Okay, so now we've got the cache cleared there. There's also E cache, and I don't know what any of this is. Well, I know what eprom.bin is. I don't give a crap about that. This thing's hard modded, so we don't even need that. Select all. Delete. Plus, I already have all that backed up somewhere else. Okay. So now our cache is clear. We all agree. Let's load Halo 2 because that's what we did the, you know, for the other hard drive or the other, sorry, SATA adapter. Even right there, you could see just a little bit of a difference. It wasn't huge, but there is a difference. Okay. We will create a new profile, because that's what we did last time. Start a new campaign. And you can see 
it already just busted ass versus the other SATA adapter. So, I mean, there's just a huge difference in performance. See that? Okay, so I have an IGR. And we'll go back to coin ops. I don't know if my American and slightly southern accent is coming through when I say coin ops. I could say it like Stewie Griffin, it's coin ops. Alright, so we know we deleted the cache. So Double Dragon 3 should not be cached. I just hit the button. Music stopped. <clears throat> for it. Wait for it. I'm not sure how much, if any, faster that was, but there we go. So I will go ahead and annotate that in the video. Um, but I think, to me, it's quite obvious. The cheapy SATA adapter is just much slower. So when you consider the fact that you get several bad per batch um, you know it that right there makes them more expensive than what you're actually paying right because you have to buy another one uh, you know to fill in that gap one or two so they're more expensive than what what you think to begin with and then when you consider the time lost waiting you know on loading screens if you play it very often um, you know the, they're not really any cheaper so the StarTech has some clear advantages. The, the loading times are just much better. The reliability is 100%. Um, I just can't say enough good about it. So at least know that whenever you're making your purchase. If if you want the cheapy, you know, then then so be it. My philosophy on things that I want is if I can't afford what I want, then I will save until I can because. Uh, it's just it it works out to be more expensive to buy the cheap option in the long run you know over over a given <clears throat> over a long enough timeline that is going to be the case so uh, at any rate that's uh these are the facts um and you know combined with some of my opinion so uh you know that's it so Please go join OGXbox.com. We'd love to have you. Uh, we're, you know, into collecting and modding for the original Xbox, and um, we're we're pretty well the biggest uh, active community for the original Xbox that's that's out there. And we're, you know, there are several different places. We're just trying to consolidate them all. We've got uh, N64 Freak, who, you know, is mainly known for the uh, the 1.4 gigahertz upgrade. Uh, and 128 megs of RAM upgrade. He also came out with an HDMI adapter, and he's got uh, a few other products out there as well. Uh, come check him out. Um, also, we've got uh, let's see, J Rocky Five or Rocky Five, who does a lot of the soft mod development. He's one of the only active developers left. Uh, we're trying to get uh, the Coin Ops team to come over and join us as well. Uh, and we've also partnered up with the X-Link Kai group uh, for, you know, game night. So if you would, join us for that, uh, and I'll see you next time.